Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Quiz Special Which of the following statements is incorrect when talking about a Burmese cat? They are persistently vocal. It has an excellent relationship with children. It is one of the longest-lived cat breeds. The Burmese are large-sized cats. D. It would be incorrect to affirm that the Burmese are large-sized cats. The Burmese are small to medium-sized cats, tending to weigh around 4 to 6 kilograms, 9 to 13 pounds. Which is the main difference between dragonflies and damselflies? Wing position at rest. The number of legs. There is no difference. Damselfly is simply another way of referring to dragonflies. Its diet. Since dragonflies are carnivorous and damselflies are herbivorous. A. The position of their wings in a state of rest. Dragonflies can be mistaken for the closely related damselflies, they are similar in body plan. However, the wings of most dragonflies are held flat and away from the body, while damselflies hold their wings folded at rest, along or above the abdomen. Newfoundlands excel as guide dogs, water rescuers, police or canine dogs, herding dogs. B. Newfoundland is the most popular water rescue breed. These dogs have huge lung capacity for swimming extremely long distances and a thick, oily, and waterproof double coat that protects them from the chill of icy waters. The Pata's monkey stands out among primates for being the largest primate, the most aggressive primate, the fastest primate, the loudest primate. C. For being the fastest primate in the world. Their long back legs are so powerful that they are able to reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, making them the fastest primates in the world. The Abyssinian's signature cougar-like appearance is primarily thanks to its teeth, its eyes, its long legs, its ticked coat. D. Thanks to its ticked coat. What is a ticked coat? It is a coat with individual strands that alternate bands of color. Each strand is lighter at the base and gradually darker at the tips, giving the Abyssinian its exotic, wildcat look. Leafy sea dragons can only be found in Florida, Australia, Madagascar, Sri Lanka.
B. Australia. Leafy sea dragons can be found on the southern and western coasts of Australia. In a strip about 14,000 kilometers, 8,700 miles long and about 1 kilometer, 0.62 miles wide. From Wilson's Promontory in Victoria at the eastern end of its range, westward to Jurian Bay. The Bouvier de Flandres is a breed that almost became extinct due to a deadly disease that spread among these dogs. They were banned throughout Europe. They served during both world wars. A lack of interest in developing the breed. See, they served as service dogs during both world wars. Indeed, Nick of Sodigam, a male trained as a trench dog who served during the war and was a perennial winner at dog shows after the war, is considered the founder of the early Bouvier de Flandres breed. Several breed experts believe that had it not been for Nick, there might not be any Bouviers today. The young of both northern and southern ground hornbills will stay with their parents for up to one year, six months, five years, three years. D. Three years. So the adult investment in each young bird raised is exceptionally high. It means that they can reproduce successfully only every three years. Triennial breeding is extremely rare in birds, probably the only other example is the ornate hawk eagle of neotropical rainforests. Australian mists were formerly known as Sydney mist, spotted mist, striped mist, Oceania mist. B. Spotted mist. Formerly known as the spotted mist, the name was changed to Australian Mist in 1998, when cats with marbled coats, rather than spots, were accepted as part of the breed. When talking about Canthus rostralis, we refer to the angle between the head and the neck, the body and the tail, the flat crown of the head and the area between the eye and the snout the nostrils and snout. C. When talking about Canthus rostralis, we refer to the angle between the flat crown of the head and the side of the head between the eye and the snout or more specifically, between the supraocular scale and the rostral scale. How many questions have you been able to answer correctly? If it has been 9 or 10, it shows that you have been watching our videos and you are an ABC lover. If it has been 7 or 8, you still are an ABC lover but you probably haven't ringed the notification bell yet. If it has been 5 or 6, we hope you visit our channel more often and keep in mind that we have left cards in each question. This way you can go directly to each video in order to learn a lot about these amazing animals. Finally, if you have not reached 5 correct answers. Don't worry, there will be many more exciting and fun quizzes. Watch future videos, subscribe and for sure you will get a perfect score in the next game.